Hello, beautiful, and welcome to makeup. Oh, P. Love is back again. Yes, that is right. Her favorite makeup goddess is back to paint her face with all of the beautiful colors for all of the good giggles, for all of the good turtles. If you're a fancy kind of goddess, but yes. Pilof is back and Pilof is bringing back a very special guest that we thought we once lost. The Marge Mirror is back, yes! Pilof remade the Marge Mirror. Pilof has back the Marge Mirror. I'm so glad to have my Marge Mirror back in my life. And because I think this is the most underrated, iconic kind of makeup look. Like anyone will recognize this makeup look, yes? Yes, so therefore iconic. And because Pilof is also iconic, we're just going to have an iconic kind of cocktail, are we not? We are going to mix this onto my face and we are just going to have a fun times because makeups is about the fun. So let's just keep this short and sweet. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, Instagram, Twitter, all of that kind of dumb stuff, yes? And without further ado, let's just put these beautiful baby cakes all over our faces. First things first, Pilaf does not have blue hair. Yes, I could have gotten a wig, but at the same time, I do not know how to like style a Marge kind of wig. Also, like that is just going to be a lot of floppiness that Pilaf does not need to like drive her attention away from the makeups. Cause let's be honest, I'm going to be playing with that wig more than I will be paying attention to my face. I have a white background. Okay, we're going outside for this one. Well, I think it's just going to be bad no matter what I do, but I ventured into the outside world, which everyone is panicking about, but Pilaf is rebellious. So if I want to go outside, I will go outside. <coughs> I can taste it. It does not taste nice. It tastes, it does not taste like blue. It tastes, it tastes like sin. <coughs> This is in the bag of my throat. Hair is all nice, vibrant blue, and I'm trying to resist the urge to actually go to the hairdresser and get this done because I kind of vibe it. So please let me know down in the comments if you like it or not, because that may be on my list of things to do. So no matter what kind of makeups I'm doing, whether it is like serious, whether it is red carpet, because like peel off has been on the red carpet, or if it is my like unnecessary want to have some fun and throw some pretty colors on my face kind of makeups, no matter what kind of level it is, I always start with my best friend. My sensei! So I'm just going to put a good little coat. Does not matter if any of this does not match my skin color or not, because like, as you can see in the photo, Marge, baby cakes, you need to go to Priceline. You need to go to somewhere so that they can give you a good color match. Make Homer refit the gun with your specific foundation color. Otherwise, you are going to look like a pasty little gold. And now that thin stick is on, usually I leave the foundation till the end of the look, but today I am just going to add it in now and I am just going to kind of put it all over, but miss some genuine parts. So it kind of looks like I got shot in the face. And then we just want to put like a few little like spotties. Put it into our hair, just that little bit because Marge also has some in her hair. Since thick and foundation are now on and I have a few little splotches on my neck just to give the real like <laughs> kind of factor, yes? Okay, so now we get to go on with the eye chalk. So, if we look at Marge's face, wait, we have a lot of blue and a lot of like ready kind of pink. But also like, sir, why is her neck like white and her face like white, but this part is yellow? Why did the blue affect the yellow of the foundation that Homer used? Huh? Explain to me that! That is not correct. <laughs> Vine references. What? So either way, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. No, don't bite the palette. So because there is no real like fashion when it comes to like the real application of the eye look, I am just going to get the color soaked. Ooh, this nice blue because I think that actually matches it quite well. And I'm just going to get this big fluffy duffy brush, which I know is the... The Lux crease? No! This is the soft definer. Okay, never mind. Either way, I'm just going to get the color soaked. Ooh, soaked. I am soaked in the makeup scum. And then I'm just going to start applying it kind of everywhere. This is too soft. I want a big pack of pigment. So I'm just going to get the smoky shader. Pack, pack, pack that on. I Blending is not a part of this makeup tutorial today. Why? Because it is so unnecessary. We do not need any good blending today because that is not the point of the makeup gun. The point of the makeup gun is to look like an absolute train wreck, to look like an absolute travesty, whoop, whoop. and then just the under eye as well. And the best part about this look is we do not have to worry about the left eye being an absolute pest. Why? Because they don't have to match up. Because it is supposed to look like an absolute train wreck. Ha ha! 
wolf is so happy. Left eye is going to be happy because left eye is always a train wreck. That, that, that left eye is a train wreck, but we love her anyway. All aboard the blue, blue train. Blue, blue. And then because no look is complete without glitter, regardless if Marge has it or not, I am putting some glitter on my eyeballs. I'm just going to go in with my Revolution, what are you? Revolution Makeups London Reload Deep Dive kind of like shimmery kind of colors because I cannot. What? Peel off. Calmness. Tranquility. As I was saying, I cannot find my Holy Grail makeup palette right now, which is my Morphe 35 Color Burst B palette. So I'm just going to go on with this one. Uh, because like, it has some blues, it has some shimmery, so I am happy. I'm going to go on with number 6 and number 8. Ooh, maybe some of that silver. 15. So 6, 8, and 15, you are all going on my eyeball. Just a pop of sparkle. Just a bit of a, bit of a, ooh. Let's just use our fingers. Today is a good day to finger paint. Perfect. Excellent. And then I'm just going to put the fingerprint up there. Left eye, where do you want some glitter? I think you want some glitter here. Sparkle, sparkle! And then for highlight, I'm just going to get this makeup's revolution, like, set the tone, like... Set the tone! Oh, I got it! Uh, makeup's revolution highlighter reloaded set the tone highlight, which is just like pure freaking white, just pure freaking fairy dust on my face. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. Literally looks like a child finger painted my face. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the eye choke is on our eyes, we're just going to go in for our lashes. So I'm just going to get my guillotine and not behead the lashes or pinchy my skin. Because like even though we are blue, daba di daba die, I do not want those blues to turn into bruises, sir. And then we are just going to get this mascara, which I once again lied about throwing out. It, it is still in my collection. I have yet to buy more mascara. Also with the bottom lashes, we're just going to really like rub the mascara kind of everywhere. A few little dotties. Usually we do not want the dotties. Today we want the dotties. So the eye feathers I'm using today are the OXX Studio Glamorous Lashes 3D Silk Effect in the style Luna. Uh, they come from Kmart. They were like five dollars. And they are big fluffy duffy eye feathers. I just, I wanted the biggest baba boom feathers I could find because really like this, this look needs a big Vava foam feather. It needs an eye feather that just says, ma'am, that does not fit your face. At what point in the history of the world did you think to yourself that that size of a lash was appropriate? I want that kind of eye feather on my face, the one that make people question my judgment. So when it comes to doing my eye feathers, like I don't have any real explicit instructions. If it is a tutorial that you legitimately want, I will try my hardest. But all I do for eye feathers is I put on some white glue so that when it dries, it has a cute little blue hue to it. Uh, that way I can see when it's tacky. Like my sense of humor. It is always the same jokes that I tell with this. And then when it is dry, I just it onto the skin of my eyeball. But like still close enough to the lashes that it looks like it is supposed to be there. But with this makeup look, does it really matter? I think not. I am so impatient. I am so impatient. I am so impatient. Just try! Oh, that kind of worked. Maybe I should boogie oogie oogie a little bit more when it comes to the eye feathers. The glue was definitely not dry. And then just use the pinchy boys just to kind of blend them together. Who says you need to spend like $30 on good lashes? These were only five, which in like US currency is like three dollars. <gasps> Peel off each moment. All you need in life is a good set of fluffy, duffy lashes. Now the right eye is looking fabulous. Just add the same fluffy duffy effect. The beautiful, majestic fluffy duffy effect to left eye. And don't worry if she doesn't behave because like the whole entire face is just going to be a train wreck anyway. Oh. Left eye. This is, this is really, this is, this is for you. This is for you, baby cakes. This is so that you don't have to behave. I know, I know how to look after you. I know how to treat you, right? So when it comes to the makeup looks where I want genuine symmetry and genuine fabulousness, behave, I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the eye feathers are on, I'm just going to go in with my brows. So once again, with this whole entire makeup look, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit messed up, but I'm going to go in for a cute, fluffy, duffy brow. I'm just enjoying myself so much with this tutorial. So I'm just going to get my brow cake, which does not taste like cake. I'm just going to fill in my brows and probably like just really, really, really extend them. I want a darker color. I want tasty from, from the Jeffree Star palette. I want tasty. I want, I want to be tasty. I want my brows to be tasty. I want my brows to be a thick, dark, 
bubbly chocolate bar. Fluffy Duffy eye feathers are on, Fluffy Duffy brows are done. Oh, everything is starting to come together so nicely. I look absolutely proper freaking mental, but I do not care because I am so freaking happy. Okay, so now it is just on to the rest of the face. So contour highlights some blush. Oh, cute little blush. And then the lips. So for the blush, because I'm going to go for a little bit of subtlety, I'm just going to get some bubble gum and I'm going to get some cherry wet and we are just going to like... Perfect. Yes! I just look like a clown at this point! <laughs> and then for contour, I'm just going to get my bestest boy, Marky Mark, and I'm just going to do a fish face. <laughs> Needs to be darker. Do not want the blending today. <laughs> blending? She does not exist. We do not know her. And then for nose, I am just going to get a smaller kind of brush. Usually I do a cute little flick and a cute little flick, but today we do not need anything subtle this makeup look does not scream subtlety this makeup look screams i'm unhinged be my friend and then for highlight i'm just going back in with the set the tone and i'm just getting it on this big fluffy duffy brush i do not mind if i'm putting on too much because today not about subtlety oh yes winding highlight i feel as though marge simpson would be ever so happy with this also, I don't really know if Marge Simpson has actual legitimate friends, so like Marge, I will be your friend. We can wear this crazy chaotic makeups together and everyone will be ever so jealous of our makeups and ever so jealous of our friendship. Duck face. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Got to get that highlight. We are on to the last step being the lips. So one of you lovely, gorgeous, oh, amazing human beings sent peel off a huge package into her P.O. box. Monique, oh my golly gosh, sent peel off a huge, a huge box full of lipsticks. And once again, no one ever feel obliged to send me anything, but I'm ever so grateful for the things that I have been sent. But so many lipsticks. It was there was there there was tears peel off once again had the motion i do not know who gave any of you permission to give me an emotion but regardless you were giving me emotions and i do not know how to cope with them half the time so oh, with so many lipsticks in my hand i'm going to use two of them so the ones that i was sent was a uh, rock cheek rebel revolution matte so i have two colors i have which one are you help peel off be able to Oh, okay, so this one is wolf cherry and this one is cherry wood. Ooh, lots of cherry color. Ooh, one looks sparkly. Oh, yes! One has a sparkle to it! So I'm going to follow my actual lip line for the moment. Oh, this is just such a nice red. What? No, I don't want to mess it up. Oops. Well, it's not going to matter soon. And then we are just going to get the glittery one and we are going to put that on top as well. And now that both lipstick colors are on, Oh no! It's smudgy! <laughs> and now that the lipstick is on! <laughs> that is it! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just. I just <laughs> oh my gosh! My tummy hurts so much! I just. 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 Wait, I need I did. <laughs> oh, this one is definitely oh definitely one of my stupidest oh I just but I don't care. Makeups makeups to me is just about having a giggle, having a chortle, having a good fun time. Like oh all this seriousness sometimes it is like why just do these kind of makeups and just laugh at yourself for so long because Oh, who needs a gym when your like stomach has been clenching just from the laughter? Oh my gosh, I just, I just <laughs> my face. Oh, but now the peel off has had that beautiful moment, and the makeup is now on. And because peel off is a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube's, look at my other videos. I swear that I am more than just this look. But because I'm a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, there is only one thing left to do, and that is a sexy, a slow mouse. journey to find her calmness and because the makeups is now on and sexy slow-mos are done 
there's nothing left to do. That is it for today's video. And it is always the saddest part because Bill of must say goodbye. And uh, I don't like saying goodbye. But today they do not have to be sad because we get to welcome back a dear old friend. Our friend, our Marge Miller is back. She's back in action and she has inspired this look and oh my good golly gosh, we look fabulous. But no matter how your makeup looks today, whether it is sane, whether it is a little bit mental, whether it is nice and natural, whether it is really glam, no matter what kind of makeup you're wearing today, just remember and remember that this is an order to go out into the world and look stunning, look fabulous, which isn't hard for you, but what maybe on the teeny teeny tiny like hard kind of difficult side of things is to make sure that the world understands your beauty make sure they understand your intelligence your creativity your talent your just outstandingness in every shape way and form they must be aware because if they are not aware once again their life's insignificant just insignificant like if they are not aware of how powerful you are and how outstanding you are they just pfft, their lives are just pfft, their lives are doodle without knowing how incredible you are and while you're out there in the world do not forget what your mother always say if you can't say something nice say something cruel <laughs>